Credible leaker Tom Henderson just uploaded a video with a bunch of leaked info for COD 2021's multiplayer, Treyarch working on the zombies, the new World War II themed Warzone map, and he also gave us some info on Treyarch's next game in 2023 based on 2012's Black Ops 2. Really sick stuff here to go through. I want to give a big thank you to you guys, first of all, for 80,000 subscribers on the channel. Really do appreciate it, guys. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Let's start off here first with a bunch of new teasers, some leaks coming out for World War II Vanguard coming later on this year. Call of Duty Hope tweeted out, just been informed by someone via DMs that Blizzard updated their Our Commitments domain page from having Ghost represent presenting Call of Duty to a World War II soldier as seen below. Here is the previous image with ghosts in the middle, obviously. And then here we have a random World War II soldier. Pretty interesting stuff here. Of course, they're preparing to release this World War II marketing very soon. So it makes sense as to why we'd see these types of leaks in these promotional images and stuff like that. Another thing here, apparently in the Call of Duty Companion app for a split second, it glitches out and in the background you see a World War II soldier. Super interesting stuff here. Would they have World War II soldiers in the app? Do they have the marketing in the app and they're just waiting to release it and update the app once the game is revealed or released? Probably. They're probably all set to do that. So again, it also makes sense as to why these little things will be leaking out here. These don't give us too much info, but it's still cool to see nonetheless. Now let's go through the main leaked info here from Tom Henderson. He made an entire video with a bunch of different stuff. First on COD 2021, multiplayer, zombies, Warzone, and then finally this Black Ops 2 game that Treyarch will be making in 2023. So let's start first here with what Tom Anderson said. He starts off the video by pretty much saying all of these leaks are from his own personal sources. I've been following him at talking about his leaks for a while now, and he's been fairly accurate with his leaks for new Call of Duties. And he did this in this video, bringing all of the info from his own sources just to make sure he is getting the information. He's not really pooling info from other leakers. He's getting the info that he specifically heard from his direct sources, which is a lot better than just getting random info from Twitter accounts. So that's good to see. But to start off here, he says no current info on Vanguard's campaign right now, but it goes through first Warzone. He says that we will see the integration between Vanguard and Warzone at the launch of the game. There will be a new map that will release at launch as well, as opposed to what we saw last year with Black Ops Cold War, where the integration happened a lot later in the year. And Warzone also did first release in Modern Warfare's life cycle in around March. We saw that with April last year. This time around, they're going to do it straight at launch, which is good to see. And a part of the reason as to why they're doing this apparently is because Activision wants to boost the premium game sales of Vanguard right at launch and they're making the good assumption that the Warzone integration will help with that and will help with the sales and popularity of the game at launch. It makes complete sense as to why they would want to do that if they don't expect Vanguard on its own to be the best selling Call of Duty game and they've said that officially in their recent investor call. They expect COD 2021's pre-orders to be lower than previous years. They've said that so they know it's going to happen. They don't want to wait too long to update and integrate Warzone and potentially allow Vanguard to drag the hype and the success of Warzone down for too long. People will be frustrated waiting for the new Warzone update and it will potentially negatively impact Warzone as a whole. So doing it right at launch, starting off with a bang, will not only be good for Warzone, but good for Vanguard as well. So that is definitely cool to see. And apparently the map itself and certain gameplay features are similar to Battlefield 5's Firestorm BR mode. And the map itself also is significantly larger than Verdansk, which will allow for more ways to play with new vehicles such as planes, tanks, and boats. But these apparently won't be a part of the main Warzone playlist for the most part, but just as limited time modes. And it makes sense that's why they would do this as well, because they probably don't want to mess with the core Warzone fan base and audience and overall the core Warzone gameplay style. Having all of these tanks and different elements like that might piss off the core Warzone fan base. I don't know. Let me know down below if you play Warzone a lot, would that impact your gameplay? Um, but having this in LTMs would still entice 
more casual players to hop on and have some fun with those unique modes when they're added. So that all is pretty cool to see as well. There will also be various destructible environments around the map, which is pretty cool to see. We talked about that before. Also, the leaked POI list that came out is actually apparently outdated and some are different now. That's not really a big deal. It's really more about what the actual locations look like and we'll see a final list for that very soon once they do some reveals for Warzone and all of that good stuff. But that apparently isn't set in stone. And now for multiplayer, here we have some interesting stuff. Tom said that a 64 player ground war mode will be added to the mode, which is pretty cool. But overall, other than that, Sledgehammer apparently had a ton of different new unique ideas to set this multiplayer apart from the previous World War II multiplayer. But a lot of those ideas got cut or maybe it's not complete at the current time. So the overall multiplayer at launch might be fairly bare bones, nothing too special, not bad, but just like a normal Call of Duty World War II multiplayer, kind of similar to Black Ops Cold War at launch, nothing too crazy, a couple maps, most likely eight maps at launch, which is fairly standard nowadays anyway, and the headquarters will also return in some capacity, which is definitely a really cool element there, but overall, it seems like the multiplayer might not be anything too crazy, hopefully it still is fun to play, and of course we have to wait for the official reveals, the beta, and all that good stuff to really see what Vanguard multiplayer is like. Now moving on to Zombies here, he says what we've been saying for a while now, that Treyarch will be helping out with the development of Zombies in this game, but he says they're not as involved as some people are making them out to be. They're pretty much just giving Sledgehammer a guide, a bare bones guide as to how to implement certain features such as Easter eggs, how to generally continue the story, different plot points, what to do. But Sledgehammer will pretty much have to do most of the work in Zombies. Some leakers are actually disputing this claim on Twitter. They're saying Treyarch has much more involvement in this game as Tom is saying, and I personally just want Treyarch to have as much involvement as humanly possible. I would love to see as much of the Cold War Zombies features in Vanguard Zombies as much as they can. We talked about potentially the Dark Aether story continuing in this next game. That might not be as likely now hearing this, but it's still early. No confirmation on anything. We have other leakers saying the opposite of what Tom is saying here. We had other leakers, Credible Leaker, the Chinese Leaker, Victor. He said that the perks, the Dark Aether perks and other elements from the Dark Aether will be in Vanguard Zombies. That seems like it's going to be very similar to Cold War Zombies, unless they're just going to rip the perks from Treyarch's Dark Aether story and have it in their own new zombie story set in the World War II era, which would be kind of weird. So I really do think that this new zombies mode in Vanguard will have a very similar Cold War Zombies vibe. Maybe internally, Sledgehammer will be actually making and developing these maps a bit more than we think, but as long as Treyarch is overseeing the project, as long as Treyarch has their hands and say as to what they're doing, we should overall be good for the year with zombies, but we'll see very soon. And he also says that there are a lot of big plans for the future of zombies just outside of what we're seeing right now in a normal Call of Duty game. He mentioned the standalone zombies game, which of course would be a dream for so many zombies fans. Previously, when Tom Henderson said this, other leakers also disputed that claim as well. So now we don't really know for sure. Regardless, this is most likely going to be a thing we don't see until several years down the line. So there's no point in arguing and discussing it too much right now. But he's saying that he's hearing rumors from his sources that zombies will be a much bigger deal than just the third game mode in Call of Duty, which is also really good for zombie fans because we always feel like the third game mode, we feel left out from Warzone. Even multiplayer gets a bit more effort than us sometimes. At least that's what we feel. So zombies having a bright future is a really good thing to hear considering even last year, people thought before Cold War came out that zombies would be over. And after Black Ops 4, after the Aether storyline ended, we thought zombies would be no more. So it's cool to see that they have huge plans for zombies in the future. Really sick there. And then he moves on to the next Call of Duty. He says that we're getting the sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, most likely called just Modern Warfare 2 that will release in 2022. We really don't need any leaker to tell us that we're getting a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, just considering how successful that game was, the campaign, everything is set to see a sequel of this game. So obviously we're getting that in 2022, but he also gives us what seems like to be our first official leak for Treyarch's next Call of Duty game in 2023, which will apparently be 
a Black Ops 2 style game. It will be slightly futuristic, but still boots on the ground. Pretty much what Black Ops 2 was back in 2012. We were in 2025 for the most part, which was a near future setting at the time. We had some semi-future technology, but nothing too crazy. It seems like the overall theme of this game is to be the successor and the semi-remake of Black Ops 2. Now, this really is some good news. Any game that resembles the style of Black Ops 2, the feel of that game should be so insanely cool it's my favorite game of all time i would love to see them go back and really make this game even better than it was before this of course won't be a straight up full remake of black ops 2 but it will be pretty much the closest thing we ever get to a remake of this game which is fine if they bring back a bunch of the good features the vibes of this game in a whole new way i am down that for sure the only thing that has me a bit conflicted is the fact that we're currently seeing so many Black Ops 2 maps added to Cold War multiplayer right now that we would be better suited to potentially see these maps in the Black Ops 2 style game in 2023. So they're pretty much using all of their maps up now instead of in the proper bo2 game that they're making right now although at the same time this could also be really good news for those of us who want to see other maps from black ops 2 remade and brought into the game we're seeing a lot of the same maps over and over again but to see some other maps like yemen carrier meltdown pod all of these other black ops 2 dlc maps that are just so underrated so cool this opens up the door to see these maps brought into this Black Ops 2 style game in 2023, which is super, super sick to see. And they'll, of course, have new maps as well to fit the new BO2 themed game. Super sick stuff here. Overall, the game could be a prequel to Black Ops 2, maybe a sequel to BO2. Obviously, Black Ops Cold War is a sequel to Black Ops 1, so maybe this will be a sequel to BO2 as well. And I don't know, man, super cool. I can only think that maybe they could have done more Black Ops 1 remakes for Black Ops Cold War, considering there's a closer resemblance to BO1 and Cold War than there is with BO2 and Cold War. And they probably could have saved a bunch of these BO2 remakes for the BO2 game in 2023. But again, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe in a couple of years, things will change. But as of now, this sounds super sick. And for zombies, I wonder what they're going to do. Because, you know, we've been saying that Zombie Chronicles 2, Transit, Dire and Buried, the BO2 zombie maps that have not been remade or remastered before in Treyarch Zombies, those are expected to release in Black Ops Cold War, potentially by the end of the year or maybe in a year two. But what does that mean for the Black Ops 2 game in 2023? Would it make more sense to maybe see these Zombie Chronicles 2 maps? Maps in that game instead of Black Ops Cold War? Maybe. And this might be bad news because maybe they might delay Zombie Chronicles 2 all the way until that next Black Ops 2 game in 2023, which would be really sad, honestly, because I want to play these maps in Cold War, but maybe it's a good thing overall for the zombie storyline, all that good stuff. I don't know, man. It's kind of conflicting now. I still think a BO2 style game would be really sick. BO2 had something right. I mean, they did a lot of stuff right. So I'm still really excited, although it's super early, so we can't get too crazy just yet. But the fact that we even have this info, to me, is really, really good news for the future of especially Treyarch and their new Call of Duty releases. So that's pretty much it here for this video. Let me know down below what you guys think about all the new COD 2021 leaked info black ops 2 style game in 2023 a lot of crazy stuff here let me know down below there are two videos up on screen that may interest you so be sure to check one of them out really do appreciate it, guys shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys